what is up youtube so today i will show you how you can change your buttons on your suit jacket or any jacket without sewing all the way through the jacket as you can see here um, before the way they sewed it they did reveal some of the threading but right now i changed the buttons from this dark uh, from this dark blue button to a more brownish button on my sports jacket so as you can see there's no threading in the back and the buttons look a lot better you know compared to the old button which was a you know grayish button versus a brown so the first step is just to make sure you get a enough line um, usually I go about you know um, an arm and a half length so once you get an arm and a half length you cut the line the thread and then you thread it through the needle and then you get the double line make sure they're that they're even It's kind of tough to do on the camera, but here it is. And then make sure that they're even at the ends. Fairly close is good enough. Um, so they're even right now. You're pulling on this end. And then you wrap around your finger several times. And then you just rub it in to make a knot. And then here we go. So this knot will be your your anchor basically um, once you thread your needle through the fabric. So here we are. We have the thread that has already been knotted. So where I will start is about you know half and two centimeters from where the original hole is. And I'll try to match it up back to the previous holes that is on the um, on the threading, as you can see here. So this since this is the back, um, I didn't want to ruin the fabric. So um, so you would need to match back up the holes, so you're not gonna misalign some of your jackets. So I'm just matching back up the holes here. You need to make sure that you take some time to do this because if you don't, then um, it might be misaligned. So once you set up the base, um, I've done this about three to four times already. Um, so once you set up the base, um, you can start uh, putting on the, the button. So I've done this about three to four times already. Um, so, so when you do connect the holes, you know, do try to make sure that you do match up back with the original. So it's, you know, syncs up perfectly. And you gotta make sure that when you sew, you don't sew the interior, the most inner layer. So you just sew this layer 
and the top. So when I was sewing, I was trying to make sure that there's some, you know, air in between. But then, you know, whenever you feel that your thread did caught on, then you just gotta start over. You know, when when you when you do feel it, you know, from the inside. But right now, I already set up the base. Um, you know, I thread this over a few through few times already. Three to four times should be good. You know, in an X pattern based on the previous um, how the previous button was set up. So right now, you're gonna remove this anchor point. So you try you're gonna try to pull it out. as much as possible and then cut it and make sure you don't cut any of the suit fabric of course then you damage the suit so here we are and now once this space is set up we're ready to put on the button so this is the button that I'm trying to change so you thread it in and make sure that they're aligned. Actually, I don't like the pattern on this one. Change it to this. Okay. And then basically, it's just the same way of how you sew any other button. You know, you would want to go to the diagonal since I want to keep it as an X. Some people like to sew it a different way um, versus, you know, an X pattern, but I like the X pattern more. It looks a little better in my opinion, but depends on however you want to, you know, sew your button. So basically, go right here, once you do a loop, you want to thread it back into the fabric, back over and then out. So you want to thread it in, same based on the same you know four points that's already been um, punctured from the previous button. So same way, I do it three times on each loop. So I looped it once, and then you're gonna bring your button over again. It's basically looping it three times. Pretty simple at this point. So loop it back in to this button over here, this hole. Just make sure when you're going through needles you don't puncture your suit because you do you can um, hit the fabric and then that'll be a loose thread on your suit jacket and then it won't look good. So once you're back at the bottom you go puncture it through the bottom of the suit again and as you're doing this make sure you don't hit the inner layer of your suit jacket as well so so I've done this three times already on one side and I'm constantly checking to see if any of the thread does get caught into the inner layer nothing so far so I'm good um, so one tip that I have for you is that when you're sewing you want to make sure you before you actually sew it you can always test to see if that needle got caught onto the inner layer or any other fabric that you don't want. So before you poke in through the whole thorough, like all the way through, sew it all the way through, you want to make sure you test it first. If everything's good, then you pull it, pull the string. So that's one tip that I've learned so far and um, it's been working pretty well. So I'm going to do the other side now. Oh, wrong way. So I'm going to go loop underneath. I'm going to start doing the other side now and doing the cross like what I've done on top. So I'm doing the other side now. So right now I've threaded three times already on this side. As you can tell, you don't want to overdo it because then the thread will just all bunch up um, on your button and it won't look good. So. Uh, make sure that they're aligned and then give it a slight pull, a slight pull, make sure it's snugged. And then what you do here is you circle this about five times, three times. 
however many times you want. You know, five would be good already. So once you circle it five times, poke it through the hole here. This will create a knot that will um, help you lock in your thread in place. So you loop it and make sure you um, don't cross any, make sure your loop is good and then you turn back the needle into the loop. This will create one knot to secure your, your bond in place and your threading. And then you can do this three times um, to, to make sure that it's secured. And that's the reason why I usually like to have a little more thread, just so I don't run into this situation. But in this case, it's fine. I'm almost towards the end of the pro of the uh, sewing process. So the very last step is to put the thread back in to the jacket itself. So. You can puncture it into the jacket and then back out. This will give an invisible line to your jacket as you can see here. So once you pull this thread and then cut it, the line stays within the jacket and you'll have an invisible line um, and then Basically, this is how you sew a button without revealing, without sewing all the way to the back. So, if you pull, you gotta watch out for the needle. You pull and cut. Kind of tough to do a. Okay, so there you go, so second button on the line. So this button, there you go, and this is the finished product on this side. And I've changed these buttons as well. Give me a thumbs like if you like this video. Um, you know, this is the first time I actually tried doing this, and I think the the result, you know, is pretty good so far. And this was technically a uh, risky move because when I cut this, it does it might cause a um, change in the length of the sleeve. Um, I mean the, the width and, and how tight it is, but um, I've tried it on the left and um, it seems to work um, But regardless you just have to make sure that your threading doesn't get caught on to the inside otherwise um, You know the best ideal way would be to cut this open and then resew it But I'm not a professional tailor uh, for this, you know, I think this will work so Hey, please feel free to leave me a comment if you have any other suggestions or, or um, you know, tips to make this you know a little better. Thanks.